The world of Days Gone is out to get you. You will need every resource you can find to even have a chance of surviving on the broken road. Days Gone offers many options for stabbing, hacking, slashing, and bashing your way through the game, but which one is the best and which one is right for you? To help you keep your edge, let's take a moment to discuss the best melee weapons in the game. The machete is one of the first decent melee weapons one can pick up, as there is one very close to the O'Leary Mountain safe house. You can find it almost as soon as you step outside the gates, right down the hill in the bed of this green forest department truck. In fact, you can find a machete in trucks just like this one, scattered across the entire map. It is also fairly common to find them in tool sheds and workshops. This is one thing that makes the weapons on this list so good. You don't need to use scrap to repair them, as they can be found all over the place. Though the machete doesn't do much damage per hit, it has a very fast attack rate and is best for players who like to get in close and slash their enemies to pieces. The fire axe is my favorite melee weapon in the game. Although it has a slower attack rate and has lower durability than the machete, it has a much higher max damage. Most enemies will go down with just a few hits from it, making the low durability less of an issue. This one is also plentiful, and the first one can be picked up right after stepping outside the O'Leary Mountain safe house. From the front gate, hang a right and follow the very first path you see. It will lead to a small survivor camp with your first fire axe. The fire axe can commonly be found near wood piles and also at fire trucks, but the best place to find it is buried in the skull of one's enemies. The superior metal axe is the most powerful melee weapon in Days Gone. It is a slow and heavy weapon similar to the fire axe, but the superior metal axe has both the highest damage and highest durability of all the melee weapons available in Days Gone. There is no melee weapon you can craft or pick up with better stats. Unfortunately, it can only be found in the later half of the game, once the player opens up the southernmost part of the map. To make sure you never need to waste scrap repairing it, Check out this video made by 8-Bit Terror, host of the Days Gone podcast. Her video shows every location that we know of to pick up this incredibly powerful late game weapon. There you have it, folks. The three best melee weapons that you can find in Days Gone. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see y'all next time.